Hey guys, Trish from Magic here. So I've got an unboxing and review on a Classic Army M4. So I purchased this at a local shop. It's Airsoft Alpha. Um, basically what happened with this gun is a customer returned it. I think the rail broke. And they sent so they sent it back to Classic Army and they replaced the rail. And there were scratches on the barrel. Minor scratches, might I add. And so I got it for a good price. So I'm actually going to be giving this gun away. It's not going to be anytime soon. So I'm going to... I traditionally don't do unboxing, but let's do it anyways. So there's just the standard manuals, which if you're new to Airsoft, read all this stuff. Just do it. But um, must be 18 years or older to purchase your own Airsoft gun. We have a trickle charger and a 9.6. So I would definitely recommend if you have the budget when you buy this gun... Get a lipo charger and 11-1 lipos. Don't screw around with the 9.6. If you are really, really on a budget, then you can use the 9.6, but get a smart charger for the 9.6 because these are just bad. That's all there is to it. These are bad. So that's the way I would go. If you have the money, though, I would just do a lipo charger and two lipos, two 11-1s, and uh, you will have a lot of really good performance with this gun with 11-1s. So to pull the gun out, of course, you get a jamming rod, a cleaning rod, and looks like two rail sections. It is key mod, which is pretty cool. A lot of people are kind of not so keen on key mod anymore because, oh, it locks so much better. I don't know. This is the ECS system, so it does come with an ECS MOSFET, which is really nice because I've never gotten to test the Classic Army MOSFET, so this is my chance. It also comes with a plastic high cap. So, the gun itself is very light. This gun is almost all plastic. Uh, the retail on these are, I think, about 160, 170, maybe 180, which is a decent price. I'll probably put the thumbnail as a picture of the gun on a website, probably eBike. So, you'll probably be able to see what the actual retail is. But I think it's around 160, 180. GNG Combat Machines are coming with the MOSFETs. But these MOSFETs are better than the G&G Combat Machine ones. And there's no arguing with that. The G&G ones are very unreliable. Even their newer newer ones with the smaller MOSFET chip inside the buffer tube, the actual micro switch is the problem. The material that it's made out of is like made of plastic. It's like cardboard. It, they break all the time. And your gun will just start shooting on its own, basically. So this one is a lot better. So I would stay away from G&Gs, honestly. There's so many better guns out there to start airsoft, like these classic armies. They're so much better. They just are. And there's some others, like the Avengers M4s with the S&T MOSFETs. Those are fantastic for the price. You can get those for, like, 120 bucks, And the MOSFETs are amazing. So starting from the back, we've got a standard crane stock. It is a little bit tight on the battery storage because the side tubes are not very large so you're gonna have to use a buffer tube lipo you can get a 1200 milliamp or a thousand 11 one and fit in there no problem uh, moving on the buffer tube is metal i hope so i really hope so it looks like it yeah it's got to be metal um that's pretty important if you ask me some of the old lancer tacticals were plastic on the buffer tubes and that's a pretty high stress point because if you drop it down like that oof, the plastic ones are going to just completely explode i'll put that on later i have to go get the battery inside anyways so it does have an ambi sling mount here it has an ambidextrous charging handle which i really like it is plastic but i believe yeah it's plastic fake bolt no bolt lock but pretty nice uh the sights on here are troy replicas they are metal and they actually lock up, so actually pretty good sights, honestly. I would keep those on here no problem. The pistol grip is actually pretty comfortable, honestly. It really is. It's got kind of a quick change motor system, which Classic Army started to do. They've also done their new motor, which I think is a 25K, but they're pretty zippy. They're pretty fast motors. It's more of a high speed, uh, but they're pretty quick. Or maybe it's a 35K. Whatever it is, it's pretty quick. The body on here is completely plastic. It says Mod M4 556. It's obviously not a 556. This is an airsoft gun. Uh, but yeah, I like the grip. The body is pretty nice. It's kind of a standard lower, and then the upper is kind of like a billet style, which is pretty cool, I guess. 
The rail system is plastic. That is kind of a disappointment to me because the G and Gs they come in at like 180, maybe 190 dollars, and they do have a metal key mod, and it's CNC aluminum, which is a lot better than a plastic one. But for the price, it's not bad, and it's gonna hold up. You can mount anything you really want to this: a grip, a flashlight, um, anything you could want to add to this. It will hold up to it. The barrel is completely metal, and I think it's a 15 or a 14.5 inch. I think it's just a standard carbine length. It might be 16. The flash rider on here is an AAC style. I would recommend keeping this. Take it off and paint it. Don't play, don't play with an orange tip. You're going to get your position given away right off the bat. Don't do it. I know a lot of people don't sneak around. I don't really necessarily sneak around, but just take it off and then paint it. Um, and then go play airsoft. But don't brandish it around you know, your neighborhood sort of thing. Because people like to freak out about guns nowadays. So, the gearbox again is the ECS with the MOSFET. I'll just take the upper off. The hop-up unit is actually really nice. It is a rotary style and it's blue. I'm not going to take it out. It is nice and tight in there, which is actually a pro if you ask me. Um, it's a rotary style and it actually hops BBs very well. I would recommend two fives out of this gun for sure, two fives. And then you can see it does have a Classic Army, kind of a different gearbox. It is a blowback gearbox because they make blowback guns, but this is non-blowback, thankfully. It uses a Metarack piston, which is a nice addition to Classic Army's lineup. Again, that newer Zippier motor and the MOSFET, which does have a micro switch. Now, does it have a delay? I think it does have a delay. But it's still very, very responsive, and you'll see it when I shoot it, it's very responsive. And upgrading the motor and doing higher speed gears will help with that. You can The faster you can get your gears and motor to spin, the more, quicker your follow-up shots will be. But stock, it's actually really nice. Other than that, it still has the classic Army crappy gears. They, yeah, unfortunately. Um, classic Army gears are like Chinese gears. They're like what comes in a JG, a Saima. It is what it is. Most companies come with gears like these, so it's not a con on them, but it's a con still. <laughs> and I think I think they're running bearings in here, either bearings or bushings, and they are they look like bushings. Yeah, they're definitely bushings, and they would be steel, which is great. So potential on this gun, I would say you know an ASG motor, maybe an SHS motor, uh, 16 to 1 sperm bevel gear with the stock sector gear because it uses a magnet and that's all you could really do to this maybe a new spring to get a you know higher fps you know whatever floats your boat but the gun has potential for upgrades stock i think it does have a probably an m110 because we're getting about 370 fps with a 0 0.20 360 so this is could be used at some indoor fields but i definitely think that a gun like this should be shooting 400 out of the box just because of the barrel length. So I'm kind of disappointed it's not 390, 400, but it's still very good and it's lower stress on your gun by running 360, you know, 370. It is what it is. Um, I think it does have a quick change spring system. So I think you can access that by just taking off the buffer tube, if I remember correctly. Again, this is my first ECS Classic Army gun, but I saw a video when they came out and it was a disassembly video and like features. Also, it has a straight trigger which looks very similar to the CMC trigger that I have in my AR-15, which is really cool. I love, love the look of the trigger. So let me go ahead and go grab the battery. I'm going to run an 11.1. .1. It's like a 20C, and it's a 1,000 milliamp. So it's really small, but it is fully charged, and we're going to shoot two high caps out of this gun. So I got my 11.1 .1 in here. I will say it is Tamiya, which is meh, but most newer players are going to use Tamiya anyways, and this is kind of budgeted towards newer players, so not a con really i will say you should use a lower power battery 11 one that is do like 20 c you know 1200 milliamp a thousand milliamp don't run a like 25 to 50 c or even like a 2000 milliamp it's just a lot of power for the mosfet and i'm not quite sure that i would run such a big battery on said mosfet so i would stick to standard or like normal sized airsoft 11 ones that are suited towards the buffer tube is a good way to put it so with the battery in it it is a very quiet gun and it's superbly cycle completion like this piston has no pre-cocking to it 
so it's very smooth. So FPS wise, again, it's about 360, 370. It's about 315, 320 with the 25. I do recommend 25. So out of the box, just grab some 25s. And I'm only going to shoot with high caps, but I did test with an Elite Force mid cap, and it said on um, semi and full auto with 2.5. So it actually seems to feed pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to shooting a little bit. <laughs> Double and triple taps are incredibly easy. Like. That's a moderate speed. Now I have gotten some comments from like one or two people, I think it's like one person, asking me to use my zoom cam to show people the groupings. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do that for a couple reasons. One, that would mean slapping a second camera onto my gun, recording with the second camera, and editing that in on every single video. Every single video. I cannot do that. I don't have the time for that. Like right now, I got up early, got a shower, am making this video, and then in an hour or two, we're, ha we're driving an hour to go shoot guns, real guns, for probably two hours, and then we come back and, uh, you know, church service, Christmas Eve, spend time with family, and then I'm going to upload a video on my AKV tonight and kind of hang out with the fam and such. So it's like, I don't have them, that much time on my hands to adds more things to edit you know so it's just kind of the way it is you have to trust me that the gun shoots good and i try to do first person so you can see the bbs that's the best bet but you got to trust me on the range that i'm describing so for a range um it's about 200 feet 180 200 feet with two fives so but you can see right there this is about 100 feet and it's pegging it every time very consistent it's about 1.2 joules with two fives so it's not hitting very hard but it is very accurate and it's putting them out there so spamability um, the trigger pull is kind of long and it's kind of like not super smooth but the buttons right there and the reset is almost nothing because it is a micro switch MOSFET, but it's not very easy to work. But you can see it is very responsive. It's maybe a little slower than the G&Gs, but again, the G&Gs are absolute crap. You can get it going pretty good. So do you see how fast that is? I am very proud of Classic Army putting those high speed motors into this gun because this is standard 18 one gears. This is not fast gears. It's a quick motor is what it is. Now currently I am actually using some G and G BBs that I had but I normally use Airsoft Alpha BBs. So go check out their Amazon page. They actually sell their BBs on, an, on Amazon apparently. So you can go on there, I'm not sure what their selection is, but they have twos, two fives, threes, those are the weights that I use. Those are what I'd recommend. So <laughs> wow. And then some full auto. Yeah. It's pretty good. Like that is pretty good. Very impressed with the gun. So 360 to 370 with a point two, twenty-five rounds a second out of the box. I approve for sure. Again, I'm going to be giving this away. I'm probably going to try to play with it, maybe. We'll see. Um, we'll see. 
But I'd like to play with it and uh, get some gameplay before I give it away. Again, it's probably going to be this summer that I'll give this away. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. Um, I really enjoyed shooting this gun. I'm going to put it away and uh, head out to go shoot some real guns today. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next video.